A Day in London, story by Roderick Hunt, illustrated by Alex Brichter. Gran came to stay. The children ran to meet her. Hooray, said Keeper. I love it when Gran comes to stay. She's good fun. Gran brought presents for everyone. She gave mom and dad an ornament. Keeper had some little golf clubs and Beef and Cheap had a keyboard. Thanks, Gran, said everyone. I've another surprise for you, said Gran. She gave the children some funny-looking parcels. What are they? asked Keeper. Boomerangs, said Gran. The children wanted to see how the boomerangs work. Gran took them outside. She threw a boomerang and it twisted through the air. Look out! shouted Gran. Keeper wanted to play with the golf clubs. Gran showed him what to do. She hit the ball, but she hit it too hard and it smashed a window. Oh dear, said Gran. Next day, Wolf, Wilma, Nadim and Anina came to play. Biff and Chip showed them the keyboard. Gran had a good idea. Let's have a band, she said. The band made a lot of noise and the children had a good time. Yeah. Whatever will Gran do next, said Dad. She's worse than the children, said Mom. Gran had promised to take the children on an outing. She said that Nadim and Anina could go too. I'll take you all to London, she said. Look after Gran, said Mom as they got into the car. Try and stop her getting into trouble. We'll do our best, said Beef, but it won't be easy. When they got to London, Gran parked the car. Now we'll take the tube, said Gran. It's the best way to get around. There were lots of people waiting on the platform. When the train came in, everyone rushed to get on. Now I know why it's called a tube, said Anina. Everyone gets squeezed. They went to Trafalgar Square. On top of the column was a statue of Nelson. I wouldn't like to be up there, said Beef. I don't like heights. There were lots of pigeons in Trafalgar Square. Gran bought some nuts. The children fed the pigeons. Oh, help, said Nadim. I didn't know the pigeons were so greedy. They went to Buckingham Palace. This is where the queen lives, said Gran. It's enormous, said Anina. The queen must be busy with all those rooms to clean. A big car drove past and everyone cheered and waved. The children couldn't see who was inside the car. Perhaps it's the queen, said Beef. Gran took them on a boat. They went under Tower Bridge. The children were excited because the bridge began to open. It began to rain and the wind blew. Everyone felt cold. Never mind, said Gran. We'll think of somewhere warm to go next. They went to the waxworks. What is a waxworks? asked Keeper as they went in. It has wax models of famous people, said Anina. They looked at the models. Don't they look funny, said Keeper. 
You can tell they are models and not real people, said Anina. Who are these people? asked Keeper. That is Queen Victoria, said Grant, and some of her grandchildren. She had lots of grandchildren, said Nadim. Queen Victoria looks very fierce, said Beef. I bet she wasn't like you, Gran. Well, I wouldn't like to be a queen, said Gran. It must be a hard job. They looked at the street scene. This is what London was like a long time ago, said Gran. A lot of people were very poor. Poor children didn't go to school in those days. They had to work instead, said Gran. That boy carrying brushes is a sweep. His job was to climb up chimneys and brush shoot down. Gran went off to look at the royal family while the children stayed at the street scene. Do you think Gran should go off by herself, said Beef. She can't do much harm in here, said Cheap. Gran dropped her handbag and some money rolled among the models. Gran went to pick it up. As she bent down, she knocked into the waxworks and they began to fall over. Gran picked the models up and put the heads back on. The children couldn't believe it. Gran, what are you doing? said Beef. Don't just stand there, said Gran. Help me pick the models up before anyone sees. Oh, Gran, said Beef. I let you out of my sight for a second and this happens. They picked the models up and put the heads back on. They look strange, said Anina. I don't think the heads are right. Oh, no, said Gran. A lady ran up. She was very cross with Gran. I can think how you knocked the models over in the first place, she said. It's never happened before. I'm very sorry, said Gran. I don't know, said Beef. I don't think they will let Gran in the waxworks again. Never mind, said Cheap. Gran didn't mean to knock them over. Thank you for a great day out, said Nadine. We had never been to London before. I like to ride on the boat best, said Keeper, even if it was cold. I like everything, said Anina. Home at last, said Gran. We can tell Mom some of our adventures, but not all of them. And not the one about beheading the Queen.